So writing the formulas of binary covalent compounds is actually very simple. You just write the symbol of the first nonmetal with the subscript that matches the prefix from the name. And remember, if there's no prefix on the first nonmetal, then it just means it's one. And then you write the symbol of the second nonmetal with the subscript that matches the prefix from that name. So the name tells you what the number should be uh, in the subscripts. Very simple. So here we have disulfur hexabromide. So I've got sulfur with a prefix of di. So that means it's S2 and hexabromide. So I've got the symbol Br and hexa is six and I'm done. So the formula for disulfur hexabromide is S2Br6. So next we have chlorine pentafluoride. So I've got chlorine first. So I'll just put my symbol there, Cl, and there's no prefix. And remember, that tells me that I only have one chlorine. So I don't need to put a subscript because no subscript means one, just like no prefix means one. And then I have pentafluoride. So I'll put F and penta means five. So the formula for chlorine pentafluoride is just ClF5. Next, we have diiodine hexachloride. So I've got iodine, the symbol I, and the prefix di tells me that there are two. And then I have hexachloride. So that means I need to use the symbol Cl and hexa is six. So the formula for diiodine hexachloride is I2Cl6. Next we have trinitrogen heptoxide. So try nitrogen. So N and tri is the prefix for three. And then heptoxide. So I've got O, that's from that oxide, is oxygen and then Hepta is the prefix for seven. So trinitrogen heptoxide is N3O7. And finally, we have selenium tetrafluoride. So selenium symbol is SE. And the fact that there's no prefix on that first nonmetal tells me that the subscript is just one. And then tetrafluoride, so F. And tetra is the prefix for four. So selenium tetrafluoride is SEF4. So I hope this video has helped you understand how to write the formulas for binary covalent compounds. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.